I am God. For the next year, I'm going to be meditating two times a day. And then following that meditation, I'm going to be talking, speaking on the way I... What, what, whatever comes to mind after those two hours. This is day one. Uh, for the two hours of meditation, I'll be doing one hour of mindfulness meditation, which in essence is just clearing my mind, getting the weeds out, the thoughts free for setting it a blank slate. And then the following hour will be from chanting. In my head, I'll say a particular phrase that I want to assimilate into myself. And this, on day one, that phrase is, I am God. Now, when I say that, I mean two different things. One is more abstract, and one is more literal. And I'll start with the literal right now. Um, to begin, I want to somewhat paraphrase something Alan Watts once said. Um, in his explanation, he, he held up a hand like I am now and he said the reason there's only the fact that you can see my hand right now is only 50% due to the fact that there's an actual hand here the other 50% is the fact that there's something behind the hand for you to contrast it with without the background there would be nothing to contrast this hand to and you wouldn't even see the hand you see the hand half because the hand is here and half because everything else is this kind of this relates to an idea of dependent origination which is rooted in Buddhism which I won't talk about now you can go and look it up but I'll probably talk about it in the future um, without the hand and without the background you don't see either of them so in essence the um my literal way of saying I am God is that God is God is an either an idea depending on how you want to look at it. God is either the idea or the literal figure whether you're religious or otherwise of creation it's a, it's a symbol of creation from the very beginning God created everything that is now or if you're more scientific minded you can think of the big bang or whatever that we can call that the same thing as God at this point we're talking about the same thing the thing that from from which everything came. <laughs> so, in essence, I'm saying that everything, or the background, the the object, I guess, is God. Because to create something that is that's just an extension of you. So God, the Big Bang, however you want to look at, it, created all of this around me, all of this. Um, myself being the subject or, or yourself we put ourselves against the background we are the hand against the background without the hand well the hand brings the back the background brings the hand into focus without the background there is no hand without God there is no me and without me, well, then there was no creation. In essence, I am the creation. So, <laughs> it's kind of like saying that without one, there is not the other. So, same as the yin and yang. It's, they contrast, but without one, there's nothing for the other to flow into. So they're inseparable, essentially. So, um, essentially, without me or without you, There is no God. Without everything that is now, without every creation, every creation reflects from what it came from, God. So, however you want to take that, I feel like I can say that's justification, saying, I am God. You are God. The second second train of thought is uh, a more abstract one <laughs> believe it or not I think that first one's very literal the more abstract one is to do with the idea of creation in the fact that 
us as subjects, we have a creative force. We can create music, whatever, writing, even like more mundane things like business. You were still creating something, more or less. So in the pure fact that we create stuff just as God, the idea of God, creation and stuff came from it, we are just, oh, what's that word? Microcosms. Just smaller versions of it in the whole thing. You could think of the earth as a human and each of us is a blood cell. We're all working towards something. We're all creating something. We're all, we all have a purpose. Well, you're both the background and the foreground because there are so many subjective points of view, mine, yours. In your, your point of view, I'm part of the background, but in my part of view, you're part of the background. We are each other's God. <laughs> you're my God, and I'm your God, and we're all God, and everything's God because everything is creation and we create as well. As well as the fact that when you create, well, nothing isn't creation, really. I move over here, I'm creating space where I was. And I'm also destroying space where I move into. That's no longer, there's no air there, it's moved. Destruction and creation, again, the two things that go hand in hand. <laughs> you could even say that, well, God created the devil. Devil and God, they're like contrasting things on opposite end of the spectrum, but without the spectrum to join them, they're, they're, they're there, inseparable because of that spectrum. They define the spectrum in contrast with each other. They're one, really. You and I are one. We are just... I am God. You are God. <clears throat> And uh, do with that what you may. <laughs>